We're your weather authority. We warn you first. Well, tonight, hospitals in New Orleans that are filled with COVID-19 patients are now moving to make room for evacuees. So how will this work during, a, during what could be a Category 4 hurricane? ABC's Victor Ukwando is there. Tonight, with an expected major hurricane taking aim, Louisiana hospitals already dealing with a surge of COVID-19 patients are now preparing to shelter in place. Dr. Jeffrey Elder telling me this is a worst case scenario. This is a large hurricane. We have to be ready for that. We know we're going to have higher census because of the COVID patients in the hospital. And so we're preparing for both simultaneously. Louisiana has one of the highest COVID-19 case rates per capita in the country. The storm already forcing some testing and vaccine sites to shut down early. As residents race to prepare and evacuations begin, Ida is forecast to make landfall 16 years to the day since Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Okay, good. We met Dr. Tanner Libsack, still in his scrubs from treating COVID patients, now preparing to board up his home. One of the doctors we spoke with explained how hospitals here have been hardened since Hurricane Katrina to bear the brunt of a storm. They fix issues like electricity, water, and sewage. And in the event where they have to basically be cut off from the rest of the world for some time, they're ready. Victor Okendo, ABC News, New Orleans. Well, friends, you know what? The weekend has arrived, and so far, temperatures have been looking good. Taking a look at our satellite radar is pretty much a copy and paste of what we have been seeing these past couple of days. But we did have see, did see some rainfall in Marfa and in Van Horn. But before that rainfall I did come in, we were able to enjoy some really great temperatures. Today, the sun was able to give us, you know, 91 degree temperatures. Usually, this time in August, we can definitely expect, you know, 93 degree temperatures. So, two degrees short of what we are normally used to. But today, not even even close to our triple digits, like how we were back in 2002 when we were sitting at a nice and steamy 106 degrees. Our lows did come pretty short on as well, 69 degrees for today. Usually this time in August, we can definitely expect, you know, 70 degree temperatures. So definitely not too bad for the basin. Tonight, as we continue on with our evening, you know what? We're going to have some really great, you know, 60 degree temperatures, 69 specifically, a very mild and mostly clear kind of evening. Perfect to take a look at the stars for tonight. Now, not bad whatsoever. As we make our way into the weekend, let's see what our forecaster has to tell us. You know, we're going to be twinning for Saturday and Sunday at 89 degrees. But you know what? Saturday is going to be a nice kind of day. Very breezy, so gusty winds will be developing. But you know what? Sunday will have a 10% chance of some rain drizzle. But for the most part, very humid and, you know, mild kind of Saturday. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. Our day planner, we're going to start off our day, you know, at 71 degrees. By the time we get into 4 p.m., we'll be sitting at 90 and then we'll cool off by a mild 82 degrees. As we continue on, you know, with our weekend, the winds will be out in our faces. We will have, you know, see some more of that wind coverage as we get into our Saturday evening. You know, 12 miles per hour will be in our teens, but as we continue on with the day, it's going to be, you know, pretty nice and calm. Our pollen caster, I know we do want to go outside. Our pollen caster will be in, you know, a very high kind of level for our trees, but not too bad, a very moderate kind of level. That seven day forecast is going to pop up and you know what? We'll be at a nice and see me, you know, 89 degrees. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. Over you, Carson.